Hello, it's Keith for KMA's Corner. I am back. Week number two of Minecraft Uncut. And we got some things to do. <clears throat> we are going to continue working on this farm for one. And I am going to try and figure out my chunk spawns and add to this farm a little bit more. So... The first thing I need to do, I have a little bit of food, okay. There is a place down here. Yes, unfortunately, down here. Where the caving all is. Where, um, let's see if I remember how to get downstairs. But anyways, <clears throat> down here, there is a place that I saw redstone. I want to get a piece of redstone so I can make a compass and define the actual borders of my trunk. I don't want to go that way. Um, but I don't remember where I saw it. I remember when I was editing the video of last week's I ran into it iron yay like I need more um so I do know um one of the places I went there was a lava pool and right next to that lava pool was some redstone and um so I need to make a compass find my actual spawn point then we're going to mark off the 12 by 12 chunk spawn area that is my home. And that will be the foundations. Hmm, I think I'm already going around in circles. <clears throat> that will be the foundations of work area for this world. Um, i.e. I can build <clears throat> uh, golems, farms, and other sorts of neat little doodads uh, that will always be loaded because it will be in my spawn chunks. And that is very helpful, especially at the beginning of a, a world that we are in right now. So that is what I'm doing, even though I'm still grabbing more coal because... <laughs> I love coal. I love it even more than this stuff. Because really, gold doesn't do much for the world. Um, eventually, you know, golden carrots will be my love. Um, and main food. But right now, it is not. I think I might be getting close to where I saw that redstone. As a matter of fact, I am, because I thought it was, like, right here. Wait a second, do I have any blocks on me? I have a couple. So, um, the episode started uploading yesterday. I am, you know, trying to keep a week ahead, so I don't feel stressed out if I miss a day recording. And, uh, so I am a week ahead. Let's see if we can keep it that way. Uh, I wish I could swim up there. But there's got to be some redstone or something down here. Because I see gold and all that good stuff. Maybe we can even find some diamonds so I can actually make a uh, enchantment table. So, um... I did say that I would tell stories or wisdom every once in a while in the series. And uh, one thing I hinted at last week was that I try to better myself every day. And I try to do my best. I mean, if I don't, if I don't actually end it at the end of the day, go, ooh, was I better today than I was yesterday? No. But I am always trying to improve myself. 
and make sure that I am the best possible human being I can be. And I wish more people would do that. So, um, when I was a kid, and I don't want to get religious on you, I was brought up a wasp, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. And so I went to church, and there are some nice stories in that I was learning at that time. I'm still looking for redstone. I thought it was like right there. There must be another. Oops, did I forget that gold I did? And there are some nice stories on good ways to lead your life, even if you're not religious. And I don't even consider myself religious. Um, there are some really good stories that can be learned from, I guess, the Bible. I really almost cringe to say that. <clears throat> and one of them is to do on to others as you want done unto yourself. Uh oh. That was no fun. There's another. Yeah, you come down here. He doesn't seem to want to. Okay. I don't want to sneak blue up again. So yeah, do one to others as you want them to themselves, yourself, which that creeper obviously wanted to blow up. So he wanted to blow me up too. How generous of him. So <clears throat> why would you want to do that? It kind of helps make things, oh, another creeper. Jeez, thank you. Wow, I gotta start paying. Ah, oh, redstone. Okay, hold on a second. I lost my train of thought when that creeper blew me up, or tried to blow me up. And there is some guy protecting that redstone too. I'm all scared now that I got blown up. <clears throat> So why do you want to do to others as you want done to yourself? Because there is a thing called karma. I actually do believe this. It works in mysterious ways. And uh, other than, you know, being nice to people and people wanting to hang out with you, if you treat them decently, um, ah, that's redstone I think I saw because I remember seeing the lapis. Gotta get up there too though. Shoot. Let me get up Locks and a Enderman. Excellent, because I need some more Ender Pearls. Because eventually I do want to go get a uh, a whatever those strongholds. Yeah, I do want to get a stronghold. So in my life, if I'm in a situation and I don't know what I want to do, if I think I might be hurting somebody by doing it, I will double check. I will almost put myself in their shoes to make sure that <clears throat> I'm not going to be doing any damage to this other person, even if it is somebody I don't particularly care for because it's just not cool. That is enough. Let's go back up north. Um, I hear something walking again. I'm, again, I will say I'm not used to hearing things walking around. Let me see what's over here. There's something tracking me. Where is it? There you are. There we go. 
Maybe there's a spawner down here. I kind of doubt it. But... Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. So close. Oh. Oh. Yeah, baby. I finally have an XP for him. Okay. Something trying to blow me up? Well, uh, momentary stop and what I'm doing. And I'm going to quickly go like this and get up to the surface. You're going to have to deal with my little pillar up now. So why would I want to do unto others as I want done to myself? Well, for one thing, if you don't want it done to you, why are you doing it to somebody else? Are you being an asshole? What's the sense in that? Yeah, you can be trolly, I guess, but that's not cool. Why, why troll? It's kind of rude. So, um... That is why you place a torch underneath you. Thank you. I'm in another cave up here, too. I don't know. There it is. It's kind of funny. I start recording. There's nobody out in the other room. And as soon as I start recording, somebody goes out into the other room. But anyways... So why would you want to do something that you wouldn't want done to yourself, to somebody else? That is not cool. And if you are unsure, put yourself in that other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. And if it is not something that you want done, don't do it to them. Okay? Even if they deserve it. Because um, an eye for an eye is not the way to live your life either. I mean, oh... This person did this, so I have to get them back. That is not cool. That just... Because life should be all about fun, happiness, and love. Not getting the person back because somebody was uh, being bad. All that does is give energy to negative processes. You don't want to give energy to negative processes. I'm going to get this iron because I don't have an way of getting iron yet and I do want to do a few things with iron I'll put you there um, so don't be a jerk is basically what that is saying and I like that thought pattern a lot because jerks suck <laughs> and we live in a world where there are a lot of jerks Okay, so what I am doing, well, actually, I ran out. I'm just going to mark this off. I know if I wanted to make a spawner there, I could very well do it. I mean, a, not a spawner, but a mob trap. It would be very easy to do because, did I make a bed? I forget. So I'm going to sleep away the night if I did. Because XP is a good thing to get. Okay. Next part of our <clears throat> jobs for the day to be done. I'm glad to see more food. Where are you? I don't see you. Okay. Hearing all these mobs really is kind of bugging me. So if you are looking to do things to others that you don't want to do, want done to you, you're being an asshole. Assholes don't survive. Because uh, eventually that guilt will get to you. And that is not cool. Where are you? What I think is disconcerting now that I that I have the headphones on is I'm not used to hearing the people walking around. And now I can't 
can, and it's kind of... It's kind of not... Um, fun looking into a chest and hearing things come after you. Oh, so let me build this real quick. Keep getting sidelined. I feel like my... Yeah, I feel like my frame rates are really sucking in this series. I don't know if it's because I am at spawn. Damn. Where is my iron? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, before I continue on with the story, let's go find our spawn, and I'll tell you all about that. I know approximately where I spawned, but you get a compass, and you go in that direction where it's pointing, until it does a turnaround, and then you stop and find out what those blocks are, and you mark them off a certain way. Is he going to try and shoot me, sir? Nope. A whole bunch of you. Ooh, a bow. I like that. There's a creeper. Let's go like this. Combine it. Should we get the creeper? No, I'll probably make a hole underground. I don't want to have to fix another hole. I think my spawn area was over here. Right next to these trees. There's my chest, so it should be right around here. There it goes. You see how it just flipped around? Okay. So it is pointing, I think, right there. Yes. You see how each block I go to, it points to the center, because spawn is not a single block. It is a point in between <clears throat> four blocks. So the spawn point is actually right there, where I'm pointing, right in the middle. So what we want to do is find the oops, southeast corner, south, west. South, oh, that's north. South, east. So, this is the southeast corner. Let me get some of this. And, I'm a little confused. I'm just going to take one of these down so I can jump back up here. On the top left where it says chunk, let's see, right there. You see it says 0612 and 0414. 0612 is the position inside this chunk, I'm pretty sure. So this is right on the chunk border. As you see, if I walk, whoops, I'm trying to walk with that thing up. Let's get the chat down. <clears throat> it went from 11 to 12 that last digit in the first three digits. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is build this out to, I should actually do it from up here. I'll tear this down later to the edge of the chunk. And chunks are 15 blocks. Okay, so you go zero to 15. So I stopped at 15. So I'm gonna build out the rest of this chunk this way. Whoops. And I'm gonna go to zero. And I'm just going to take out some of this ground to do it. <clears throat> okay. So right here we're at zero, zero. And we're staying in this chunk. So let's build us. We go from... 0, 0615 to 15615. So there's one, two, three, 
four. That's not gonna let me put you there. It's turkey flower. Dang, that flower did not want to go down. Ah. So where are we? Six, seven, eight, nine. Mm, stupid tree. We can work around you. No, we can't. Bye bye tree. Yeah, so, um, if you really want to do good in life, um, don't be purposely messing with other people. That will come back to haunt you later. So when I try and do stuff, I try not to. I'm going to have to cut this tree down to fudge it pudgy. I try and not be like, I give away all my rights nice, but I try not to do things that hurt other people. And that goes with the do unto others as you want done to yourself. Um, and it is a really good thing to work on. And it's kind of hard if you don't really... Um, practice it or think about it um, to begin with but it, it comes pretty easily once you start working on it a little bit so in situations I'm I just try and wear see if I'm actually hurting somebody by doing something mentally physically or whatever and I just don't do it because who am I to do something that may benefit me but hurt somebody else what, what, what good is that That's I'm just going to feel bad and I don't like feeling bad I you know I've had problems in the past with feeling good about myself that was in cookies I guess you can say so I'm going to build this down to the it gets down to zero. And. Uh -oh. Six, five, four. Another thing <clears throat> is. I mean, it should should make you happy that you're not hurting somebody but make sure that you are happy that you actually like being in your skin some people don't care for it uh, they can't even like sit in a quiet room by themselves without their demons in their head bugging them um, that's no fun so try um, one thing I used to do a lot is meditation. I guess we'll change these blocks up just so I can tell that this is continuation. Um, I had a messed up childhood and I had done a lot of work to recover from that and I'm still working on it on a regular basis. Okay, so this is my spawn chunk. Yay!